So start it. We're good to go. Okay, so when I was um, about to adopt Itty Bit or to bring her into my family, I actually bought Itty Bit from a breeder, which I have absolutely no problem with. But I um, bought her, but when I was preparing to buy her and bring her into my family, um, I was, there was a few other dogs that were competing or breeds of dogs that were competing with the Min Pin. Um, one of them was the Yorkie, which I love a lot. The other one was the Papillon. So for this one, we're gonna do the Papillon, all right? So Papillon, they, of course, I found the breed through the same way we did with the last Doberman. Um, and some things about the Papillon that it says here, it says energy level is four out of five. Exercise requirements is one out of five. That's pretty cool. Um, playfulness, five out of five. Um, affection level, five out of five. Friendliness to other dogs, four out of five. Friendliness to other pets, four out of five. Friendliness to strangers, four out of five. Watchfulness is one out of five. Ease of training is five out of five. Groomer requirements is three out of five. Heat sensitivity, three out of five. And vocality which I still don't believe is a word, I'm gonna have to look that up after we're done, is five out of five. All right, so I like the Papillon, they have the big ears. There's more descriptions here, it tells you things like you could expect it's a toy breed, you can expect to weigh between four and nine pounds, um, but between eight and nine, sorry, eight and 11 inches tall. Um, it is a Spaniel family, they say. Um, but I, yeah, I'll leave that there. So why do I like Papillon so much? Um, they're not the most quiet dog necessarily. Um, they have a lot of hair, so it could, do, it could require some grooming. But I love their ears. That's what drew me to the dog to begin with. Um, they have these huge ears that stick up on the side of their head. It's just big, and they're just like that. Not every Papillon, because there's some that don't. Um, and, and it's still a Papillon, but that's not the Papillon I would get. I'll get the ones with the big old butterfly ears like that, just like big. That's the first thing. The second thing I like about them is that they are actually very trainable and they're very smart. Um, in my experience, the ones I know are nothing like Itty Bit. <laughs> Itty Bit has a lot of uh, go with her. Itty Bit likes to be a rebel and she likes to bite and she likes to fight and all that kind of stuff. Papillons, in my experience, they're a lot more cuddly in that way. They are um, agile dogs, they're fast dogs, but they just don't have that, um, I guess what, I guess it's kind of like that New England flavor, that hard, that hardness that a min pin would have that I also enjoy. Um, so that's the main reason. I mean, you could train them either one, you know, but definitely Papillons, you could train them to do just about anything a small dog can do. Um, they should be easier to train than the average min pin, all right? Um, they're cute, they're that black, so they're, they come in different colors, but you know, I have a real thing I'm realizing for two colored dogs, especially if they're like black and white or brown and white, I really like that. Um, so those are the reasons why I really like the Papillon. Um, great dogs. Um, so I'm gonna scroll on and see what they have here as adoptability. Major health concerns, none. That's pretty good. Um, but adopt adoptable dogs, it looks like there's only one. There's one and her name is Hope. So I click on Hope here and see what happens. Here she is. So Hope has two pictures. Um, one, it looks like she's on a futon or on a bed. And in the other picture, it looks like she's on the same futon or bed. In this picture, she has the raised paw, her mouth is shut. Um, she might be being a little bit nervous here. All right, and this is Hope. Hope is in Tennessee, it says that right on the top. Um, coat length is medium. House trained is yes. Vaccinations, up to date of vaccination, spayed and neutered, that is correct. Um, good in a home with other dogs, cats, and children. There's the pet finder bell again, and then there's a little bit of writing here about um, Hope. I'm gonna go over this real quick, just to get an idea. So Hope is a Papillon mix. Um, she is nine years young. I hate that. I hate that so much um, when they say nine years young. Whenever you put that, it makes me think that you're trying to hide the fact that she's nine, actually nine years old. What does nine years young mean? She weighs 10 pounds. Um, Hope is active and um, 
and a bit of an escape artist. So she'll need to be watched near doors. I guess she's a door bolter. Easy to fix. That, that's an easy problem to fix. Teach your dog how to do place. You know, problem solved. Um, she'll take off when she gets a chance. Hope is healthy. Up to date on her shots, et cetera, et cetera. Once again, the adoption fee for Hope at nine years old is $400. Um, so it's talking about flea and tick prevention and all that. Okay, they're saying that it might not be a papillon at all. Um, and then, of course, they have this Massachusetts residence quarantine fee and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like a pretty nice dog. Um, nine years old. Not much about her other than she will try to escape from the house, which is a pretty easy fix. Um, it, it sounds like she's not really that high energy. Uh, which is good. Whenever I see an older dog, I like older dogs. Like if I was going to place her in a home, I'd look for, especially a dog this size, I would look for adults, older adults, um, who would be able to take care of this dog. Sounds like the dog gets along with cats well and with other dogs well. Not a lot of big problems here, you know. Um, or like a young person who's out and about a lot might be good for this dog. You know, um, gonna still need required training and walking and things like that. Um, but I love Papillons, they're great breeds. And she's very cute. Yeah, that's the whole story. New England dog. It says here, there's a one tricky thing though. It says that a dog can be transported to Brooklyn, Connecticut. Can be transported. But if you could go to Brooklyn, it says elsewhere that New England. So you kind of want to lock that down and find out exactly where they're going to transfer your dog to. I'd also want to know how they're going to transfer the dog, you know, as well, because there's a lot of stress in those kind of moves sometimes. All right. So yeah, she's a very nice dog. I hope she gets a home. All right, guys. So I hope this has been really helpful to you. Um, one of these days we might do a live Thing where we talk about dog breeds and we go through pet finder and you're able to ask questions directly by the way if you do have questions ask Argos hashtag ask Argos and we'll get to those and we'll be able to answer them um, if you like what you see here today definitely subscribe to our channel um, check the description below for more links to our other social media accounts and until the next time enjoy your dog and enjoy your day or enjoy your day and enjoy your dog yeah that enjoy your day and enjoy your dog.